We are the dollars and cents. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, today we're gonna do another unboxing, first impressions, and update video. This is a newer fragrance um, that was released. Uh, I just heard about it, actually. Uh, but it's from a house that I don't think I've ever done a full review video on. I might have talked about this house in passing, uh, how other fragrances remind me of the one that I have in my collection. Um, but I haven't done a full unboxing. So it is from the house of Hubagant. And honestly, I don't know that many that come from this house, um, but I did hear someone talking about this one. Uh, it is Figuier Noir. You guys can see the name right there. Uh, there's a nice little cross hatching pattern here on the box in silver. Little H sticker here. I did open it from the bottom just to kind of keep it clean. Um, same uh, design in the front and back. Uh, other than that, not too much going on with this box. Let's check out this bottle here. Uh, this is the classic um, Hubagant bottle. Like I mentioned, I did have uh, Fougere Fouge Royale, so it looks almost identical. I think this one might have a little more frosting on it, but not sure. Um, but yeah, so nice, uh, heavy, weighty cap, full metal here, nice cross hatching, uh, like we get on the box. It's on the cap as well. It is also on the bottle, as you can see. Silver atomizer. Uh, yeah, good looking bottle. Very heavy, very thick, very classy looking bottle from Hubagant. So, a little information about this fragrance. So, Figuier Noir is a men's woody green fragrance released in 2022. The nose behind this fragrance is Celine Elena, which I believe that they have a, uh, I know for sure there's another Elena. I can't remember the first name, but there's another. Uh, I'm sure they're related. They have to be. A lot of these uh, perfumers are related. Um, it is an eau de parfum concentration. The notes for this fragrance. In the top, we have fig leaf, cardamom, black pepper, and cloves. In the mid, we uh, have uh, black fig, iris, and jasmine. And in the base, we round things off with more fig. Uh, it just says re regular fig, not black fig. I don't know what the difference is. Cedar, patchouli, and candied fruits. Now, we'll include that on perfumo perfumo.com. They took out the fig, uh, they took out the candied fruits and added candied fig. So here we have fig and candied fruits. So whatever you guys feel, maybe, I, maybe I'll be able to tell the, the difference between these whenever I smell it. Who knows? I, I doubt it, but you never know. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, just just it really excited to see what this one smells like. So without further ado, guys, let's get this one a first impression, guys. Clean hand here. I'm going to wear this fragrance tonight, wearing my black shirt, my noir shirt for this uh, experience tonight. So a couple of sprays here. Here we go. I will be doing a nice update on this one. We'll see how long it takes. Wow, okay. Got a little blast from uh, the, um, the little bit that was in the air and it smells really nice. Okay, so I'm getting a very, very strong fig note. Hmm, I'm getting some... There's some earthiness in this. It smells a little bit like vetiver. And right now I'm looking at the notes. It doesn't say vetiver in here. But something in this is giving it a bit of like earthiness. It could be anything. It could be some patchouli. It could be maybe even the cardamom, some of the black pepper. Yeah, right now I'm getting a very thick fig, very fruity, not sweet. It's just like your, like your typical fig note, green. Not super sweet, not super fruity, but it's that fig note you get almost anywhere. Like any fig fragrance that you've tried, even some cheap fragrances that I've tried with fig in it, kind of smell like this. Like the that fig that fig note doesn't stray too far away from home. Like it's usually the same in most fragrances. I'm not saying this smells like a cheap fragrance by any means. Wow, yeah, this, you can tell this is high quality. This is high quality juice. It's just a very strong fig note with some woody aspects to it. There's some cedar in this. I'm not getting like your um, Royal Oud type of cedar or like any of those very cedar dominant fragrances. Uh, this one's just like, like a woody note. But it's nice. I'm getting a little of the nuttiness from the cardamom, um, which is giving it a bit of a sexy aspect, which is also making it more of a noir scent. The black pepper, thank goodness, is, well, right now anyway, it's, it's not as harsh as like Marc Jacobs' bang. That one's like all all pepper. I'm getting some pepper in this because it's a little rough. It's a little dry, but it's not over the top. It's giving this one a bit of masculinity. It's giving it some uh, ruggedness. But I like it. Um, Not having like my mind blown right now. Because I'm getting a very strong fig fragrance, which I like. Don't get me wrong. 
but that's really a lot that I'm getting. It's not really straying too, like I'm not really getting a lot of these notes. And it's it just the first couple of minutes, I always say that. But I wish that it changed a little bit faster. That way I could give you guys, you know, that reaction on, on camera. But sometimes it could be like when I'm out, you know, I'm, I'm you know, the video is well over and I'm just you know, going on my evening and then I start getting different, um, a different experience, which is why I do the update. But sometimes it changes right here on camera. So, but right now it's just a very mainly uh, fig dominant fragrance with, a, with, a, with some black pepper. The cloves aren't like super medicinal in your face, but they're there. I can tell they're there. It's adding a nice uh, uh, masculinity to it, a nice classiness to it. Uh, gives it a fall feel almost. But we'll get to the seasons later on. I'm not getting any iris. I'm not getting any jasmine. Because, um, you know, whenever I see iris, I'm not really sure about jasmine. Jasmine, to my, to my recollection, to my notes, I think it's like more of a feminine type of note. So I'm glad that it's toned down in this one. I could be wrong about that, but I'm not getting any like lipstick iris or anything like that. You know, usually the iris dominant fragrances will really have that that note going for it. But it's, I know that it's going to add to the powderiness because I can get a little bit of it, uh, a little powderiness in this one right now. Yeah. Patchouli's toned down. It's there, but it's not like super rugged, super dirty, earthy patchouli. Not, I mean, I guess I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of fruit. So maybe there is candied fruits because there is some sweetness here, but it's all fig. So I'm tending, I'm tending to lean towards candied fig. Not so much like other fruits, but... Uh, maybe I'll go look on the website because I always just kind of look on, on for, uh, for Granica. I don't go like to the actual website. I've had some commenters in the past say, just go straight to the website, see what they say. So yeah, this one's getting like, if you guys can believe it, it's getting figgier, if you will. I know it's not a word. It's just getting very, uh, fig strong now, like, like stronger. Usually the fig will fade away. That's like my favorite part of fig fragrances. Unfortunately, they fade away pretty quick. This one uh, tends to be hanging around. But yeah, very very woody and green and and fruity with the fig. That's really what I'm getting. Um, dark, if you will. So I get the noir, but not like super dark. It's not super too, super duper rugged, super duper dark. Too like too masculine. Again, it's the first impression. That could change. But right now, without making this first half of the video too much longer, um, it is. Uh, this is not a bad fragrance. It's all fig all the time right now. Anyway, so I like that. I actually like that about this fragrance. Would I like to see a black bottle? Maybe, you know, it is called Noir. I'm not trying to say it smells like, like super, like a super Noir fragrance, but it would have been cool to see the same exact design, but like in a, maybe a matte black bottle, but it's kind of cool. But all right, guys, I'm going to wear this fragrance tonight over the next couple of days. Give you guys an update shortly. Talk to you then. All right, guys, back with my update for Figuier Noir. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, guys. My, my French friends out there, don't kill me in the comments. Um, good fragrance. Liked it. Um, if you like fake fragrances, you're going to like this fragrance. Um, my problems with this fragrance is going to be a couple of things. One, I did not get a lot of noir. Now, in the first half of the video, I mentioned how I could see how maybe, okay, I can see how it has some pepper in it. It has uh, some patchouli in it and this and that. But as the uh, fragrance wore on through the day, I got a few wearings out of this one. So I got a pretty good feel for it. Um, I just never got like a noir feel. I got nice fruity wafts of fig throughout the day. A nice woody fig fragrance. Um, little bit darker than some other ones, right? A little bit heavier, you know, a little bit of that patchouli, a little bit of that pepper. But, but overall it, it reminded me of other fig fragrances. It, it wasn't, um, it was just a little bit on the noir side, a little bit more like, um, darker, a little bit, um, Maybe heavier, right? Not so fruity and fresh. Um, but but other than that, it, it, it sort of stayed along the same lines as other fig fragrances that I've tried in the past, which again is not the worst thing in the world. Um, but this isn't a really big different take on on um, on fig, honestly. Um, not gonna say it smells exactly like Mark Jacobs' Pour Homme and your Salvatore Ferragamo Pour Homes and all these other fig fragrances out there that are really popular. But it just sort of has that same note in it, and that's okay. But guys, this fragrance is two hundred bucks retail. I don't know how much they're going to be discounted in the future, but two hundred dollars for a hundred ml bottle, 
and it sort of reminds me of other fig fragrances and it's not super unique. It's not super, uh, it just doesn't stand out right compared to other fig fragrances. Um, that price is just too expensive. 200 bucks is too much money for this fragrance. Um, it's a nice fragrance though. Okay. Uh, the longevity was good. Eight hours. Okay. Um, I was a little bit underwhelmed with the projection though. Uh, for 200 bucks, I expect this at least to fill a room. I got washed throughout the day. Do not get me wrong, but it was average, maybe below average uh, projection for an Odeon Parfum concentration for a $200 price tag. Hubagon, it's it's a you know it's a good brand. They have a lot of quality in their stuff. I just didn't get a like. I was hoping this would maybe fill up a room. I mean, um, yeah, just it was lacking in the projection department. Longevity was good. Projection was uh, could have been better. Seasons for this fragrance. Um, Guys, I'm going to say this would probably be year-round, honestly. Like the noir aspect of it, the little bit of heaviness that I mentioned, the little bit of the, the dark aspect of it makes it okay for cooler weather. But honestly, with the fig fragrance and the fruitiness of it, I, I can honestly see myself wearing this one in the warmer weather too. Um, not like exclusively summer day. We'll get to the occasions here in a minute. But like, um, just like, you can just pretty much, it's like, again, I, I'm going to say it's like, a, it's like a lot of other fake fragrances I've tried. So if you can wear those year round, I'd say maybe you can wear this one year round just because it is a little bit darker, a little bit heavier. The occasions for this fragrance, again, with the noir staple, you would think it'd be evening events, right? Um, I think you can wear this one all occasions, honestly. Maybe not the club, definitely not strong enough for that. This would be safe for work. This would be safe for, um, like if you're in college or if you're a professor or anything like that kind of setting. Good, yeah, but good for work, good for school if you're in an older school setting. Um, uh, you can wear this one casual, okay? Because I told you, the fruitiness just keeps it going. For casual, you can wear this one at night. Not club, like I said, but just most occasions you can wear this fragrance. Um, but honestly, most fig fragrances, I do wear casually. I don't wear a lot of fig fragrances out in the evening. Even though, like I mentioned, a couple of other uh, fragrances made their poor ohms, like their first launch of their brand name was a fig fragrance. And, uh, honestly, those didn't really, those didn't really make me feel like it was an evening event kind of thing. It was more just a, um, like a, you know, a daytime kind of, kind of thing. Um, ages with the price tag, I'm going to say 25 and up, 25 and up, that can pull this one off. Um, I, I guess technically with the price tag, maybe, maybe 30 and up, but just 25 and up just to be safe. I think it's not, it's not too, too crazy of a composition. This is a really strong fig note. And I do think that the older noses might appreciate this one. Um, I wish I would have gotten more of the clove in this and maybe it's there, but I just didn't get a lot of it. And, you know, maybe the, the clove mixed well with the fig and that's why it, it kind of gives it a little bit more of a stronger fig note. But yeah, I just wish that some of these other notes would have, you know, played a stronger uh, role in this fragrance. But overall, I do like this fragrance. I do wish that some of these notes would have played a stronger role in the, in this fragrance. So like, I really wish the clove would have played a stronger role in this fragrance. And maybe it's there. Maybe I just didn't get it. Um, the fig note is super strong, guys. There is fig leaf, uh, black fig, and there is, you know, candied fig or just, re just regular fig, you know, with like the candied fruits in there. Either way, there's lots of fig in this. So if you're a fig fan, you're going to like this fragrance. Um, you know, I think I got a little bit of the powderness from the iris, but it wasn't like anything standing out. This is all fig pretty much all the time. A little bit of, little bit of black pepper, a little bit of patchouli. Um, other than that, that's what you're getting. Um, again, I'm not an expert at these things, guys. That's just my nose picked up. Um, this is not a bad fragrance. It's just expensive. That's my biggest gripe with this fragrance. Super duper expensive. $200 for 100 mil. If this was... 100, 105 bucks, that would be worth it. If this was a, if this is around a hundred dollars, I would pay for this fragrance, and I would be I would be happy with that price because I would wear this fragrance like oh, this would be my go-to fig fragrance. I'm telling you guys, this is not a bad fig fragrance. This might be one of the best fig fragrances I've tried in a long time. It's just the price tag really hurts it. Two hundred bucks. Now, if you're a big fig fan and you have a bunch, and you're like, man, they just don't cut it. They don't last very long. Um, all right, then sell those and then just get this one and just have one. Because this one does not smell too different than those. Yes, they're going to, you know, some are a little bit cleaner. Some are a little bit lighter. Maybe some are a little more summery. Some are a little bit greener. Some are a little bit, you know, have more watery notes. But this is just fig with, you know, a slightly spicy um, fig. And if you like fig, you're going to love this fragrance. Guys, I probably said fig like 100 times in this fragrance. I apologize for that right now. But 
Not a bad fragrance. The price tag um, is a problem. The projection was a problem. Other than that, beautiful fragrance, guys. Not, I know it sounds like I was bashing it. I'm just not. I just, um, I just don't like the price tag of this one. And it's not that unique, honestly. Um, but like I said, I have like five fake fragrances in my a collection. I would, you know, I could probably sell those and just buy this one. And I would gladly do that. If I knew I could sell those and make $200 clean, I would buy this. And I would keep it. And I'd be happy with it. Because I would reach for this for my fig fragrance and I wouldn't have to worry about the other ones. Although there's some other good fig fragrances out, out there. Don't get me wrong. Felici Coast is amazing. Lasts like 10 seconds on your skin. But, you know, that's just, that's another video. But guys, have y'all tried F Figuier Noir from the House of Hoobagon? If you have, let me know your thoughts on the fragrance down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about this one, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching my video on my channel. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for future first impressions videos and first edit content just like this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you'll find first edit photos and future contest winners. And as always, until next video, you guys take care. Thanks.